guys, it's Mimi from Mad Channel. Today we're going to be doing tips and tricks for face wash or the batting areas. Okay, one of the first things you need to know about batting is that you're going to put most of your weight on your back leg. And now when you're going to be standing, you're going to be standing to the side, you're kind of going to be leaning on your back leg a little bit more than your front leg. When you swing, you're going to have your back elbow up in the air so it gives you momentum. When you swing, you're going to want to twist your hips along with when you move your back. Okay, the second thing you need to know um, how to, is a different batting position, and that's when you're going to bunt. When you bunt, you're going to, instead of turning sideways, you're going to come to the front and face the ball, and you're going to put your hand, you're going to just mimic my hand, and you're going to put it at um, where the bat, when it stops being thin and it goes into the fatter area, that's where you're going to want to put your hand. So when you butt, you're just going to put your bat out. You're not going to hit it. If you hit it, that defeats the entire purpose of a bunt. Okay? That's all you have to do for a bunt. Is you come out of this and put your hand in. Alright. Um, a third useful tip on how to bat is when you think that a ball is going to hit you. Uh, instead of turning your face away, you're going to want to um, turn so your entire back is to the ball. Now when your back is to the ball, it's not it's going to hurt, but it's not going to hurt as much as if you take it to the chest. Uh, it's usually going to hit in between your shoulder blades. Uh, if it's usually um, out and it's going to hit you, that's when you're going to want to turn. And I don't know, some people kind of like duck their head between their shoulders. I don't know if that's what you want to do or not, but that's totally okay as well. Um, another thing that's useful is um, how far you want to spread your feet apart. When you spread your feet apart, you're going to want to spread them about to the length of your um, shoulders. And when you're going to be batting, you're going to be twisting your um, back ankle so you don't break it when you hit the ball you're going to twist um, you can let go of your back hand and continue the motion with your um, your hands towards the pitcher another thing you can do is before you go out to practice how you're going to be hitting and to get a, um, a solid hit would be if you want to practice um, pretend batting uh, about 50 times, 50 to 100 times, and you just keep going forward with the motion. And it's going to help you get more powerful with that. You can also switch stances and do it again the same way. Now, typically speaking, when a um, right-handed person is up to bat, when they hit the ball, it's usually going to go out towards a uh, left field just the opposite for left-handed batters. Um, typically speaking, they're going to go on the opposite side of um, their dominant hand unless it's a late, unless they hit the ball late, then it, um, there's this time where it's just going to go all over the place. Usually it's not a very powerful hit either, so it's easy to get up it. When you're batting, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your hands all the way at the bottom of the bat. Um, you're going to have one hand on top of the other, uh, like so, and you're going to just wrap it around tightly. Uh, usually you're going to want to wear batting gloves. I didn't bring batting gloves out, but when you're going to bat, that's typically where you want your hands at the edge of the bat 